Good evening, everyone. Now I can see that the notification on our live streaming is on now. Um, I'm sure um, people will join me soon. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to um, my study. Um, this is my study. Uh, my name is Father Taimin. Um, I'm the vicar of the parish of St. George Enfield um, in Freezy Water. If you know the Hufford Road and then if you know this area, we are um, just before the M25, very close to M25. From here, if I just drive um, without any traffic jams, um, it will take about a couple of minutes. Um, we are the, one of the last parishes um, in the Diocese of London towards north. If we cross the M25 and then you will go to the St Albans um, you know, Diocese, and if we go to um, the east, that's um, um, the, um, the Chelmsford Diocese. So we are in in that corner of Enfield, northeast Enfield, um, but we are very vibrant and, and quite exciting, um, you know, in a parish. Um, if you are ready, um, one of our regulars, um, the warm welcome. Um, and it has been a, a quite, you know, um, a busy day, um, you know, today. From the morning, very early in the morning, from nine. Well, the meeting begins at 9.30, but um, we get it here from 9 o'clock. Um, we had a meeting um, at LDBS, the London Diocesan Board of Schools. They called um, a meeting, so um, all the um, um, head teachers, mainly, I think it is mainly um, primary schools, but also the um, up secondary schools as well, the head teachers and then the chair of governors. And then um, if you have, um, you know, a parish school in your parish, in that case, um, the vicar also. So um, from us, from this parish, um, do we have our parish school, primary school, there, St George's, um, Church of England, the voluntary aided um, you know, primary school. So um, we, three of us, head teacher, chair of governors, and then um, also myself, um, the three of us, we went to um, the Oxford Circus. Um, if you go to Oxford Circus, a couple of minutes walk from the Oxford Circus to the station towards north, and there's a Langham place, and there's a, um, a wonderful, you know, kind of round church um, right next to the BBC. Um, that's um, All Souls Church, All Souls Langham Place, and that's um, where we, we hold um, LDBS hold a meeting. So I went down there um, this morning, um, had a meeting, um, finished the meeting, it was okay, um, two hours non-stop you know kind of you know a good meeting and then because um there's a bit of you know the change government's bill etc etc you know the government want us to be a part of you know the bigger group called you know an academy so um we had a really informative and a good meeting after that meeting because you know i went down there um i just um rode my um you know the motorcycle so it came i came home um in 40 minutes so that was <laughs> that was good and then um had um, um also um some work um in my home um i even went to um the little corner shop um to do some you know the shopping and then yes that was um pretty um a productive day a very busy day and then um that was a good day um i wonder what did you do how how was your day um, but I think, um, you know, even if we, well, it doesn't really matter if you have been really, really busy day or not, but I think it's a time for us to slow things down and then, um, a bit of, you know, calm ourselves, you know, a little bit. And then it's a time for us to say, um, you know, the prayer together. Um, many of you will know this, um, that today is a very special day, a day of Thanksgiving, um, for the institution of the Holy Communion, also known as the Corpus Christi, um, the body of Christ. Um, now that means um, this, um, that today we remember um, you know, what Jesus said about his, um, specifically his instructions about Holy Communion. Do this in remembrance of me. He blessed um, you know, the bread 
and then he shared the bread and also um, he shared um, the bless the wine and then after that supper and then they also shared uh, the wine but in both occasions Jesus said this is my body and this is my blood so do this in remembrance of me and then that was a specific instruction um, which we received from Jesus himself so today um, these instructions became a kind of new instruction for us to um, do this um, special service called the Holy Communion, um, also known as the Lord's Supper, Lord's Last Supper, um, the Holy Eucharist, or even also known as, um, traditionally known as Mass. Um, that is what we do Sunday by Sunday, and whenever we have the main service during the weekdays, and that's what we do. So today, um, has been a kind of important day spiritually for us. We already celebrated um, this, you know, the theme, Corpus Christi theme on um, on Sunday, previous Sunday, especially at the 8.30 service. So uh, we didn't do much, um, you know, today, but um, there are many churches around this area who celebrated Corpus Christi today, which is you know, fair enough. This is the day. So um, I know some churches in this area they celebrated wonderful funeral service today so um, if you know one of them and if you haven't been to that service one of those services well done but for those who missed it and i am going to use the collect um, the main prayer um, of the corpus christi um, at the end of um, as a part of our um, you know the night prayer and also um, for um, the tonight I'm going to use the Psalm 113 and then um, yep without further ado I am going to invite all of you to have the moment of quietness a couple of seconds before I say the um, um, the prayer The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought and word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins and heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread on the foot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And tonight's psalm is taken from Psalm 113. Alleluia, give praise, you servants of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and for evermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God? that has his throne so high, yet humbles himself to behold the things of heaven and earth. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ashes to set them with princes 
with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a place in the house, and makes her a joyful mother of children. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And and. The Thursday's reading is taken from the first Peter. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is prowling round like a roaring lion, seeking for someone to devour. Resist him, strong in the faith. Well, um, what should I share <laughs> with you? There's so many actually things that I wanted to share um, with you tonight. Um, hang on a minute. I think that that might be good. Um, at the meeting earlier today, I'm talking about um, the meeting at the um, um, All Souls Langham Place um, LDBS meeting. And um, we were encouraged to, um, to have a group conversation. And then one of the questions was, um, what is the, um, um, what makes you, um, what gives you the identity that you have in your school? And that was um, one of the questions. And also, um, what, what is your strength if you are doing things really well in your school or in your community? What is your, your strength? You know, what makes you strong? Um, and 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 then um, not only my answer. Um, I said um, it's a strong leadership because we had a strong leadership um, in the school, and then there is a strong will to do something. And then that particular leadership is actually working quite well with other staff members. And that's what I pointed out. But also at the same time, um, many people actually put this one, well, including myself, um, this has been the one of the most um, famous words um, from that you know, um, the question. The relationship. Yep, the relationship. Of course, you know, in, in our school and, and the parish school relationship, etc., etc., when we say the relationship, uh, that didn't mean a bad relationship, it's a good relationship. I, I think that gave me a time, a big question mark um, in terms of what we do in the church. Many of you will remember, uh, will still. Um, Remember um, what we, what I've been asked of you to do is, is um, small, you know, St George's Vision Questionnaire. Do you remember that? Yeah. We're trying to um, listen to your voice. Those who are attending our church service, we are put some questions. What do you think our strength, weakness, opportunities, and the threats, etc. And what do you think we need to do now? These questions we asked um, in order for us to make um, uh, our vision statement, which will help us to focus on um, our mission for the next um, two or three you know, years, etc. While we are doing that mission, um, I think one of the fundamental things that we must build as our foundation um, is is a good relationship. I believe, I, I believe the church is the place where we provide some relationship. Um, when you see the worshippers, of course, you know you, you know your family and friends. You know you're coming here as a friends, your neighbours coming, but that's not always the case. You may see a someone who don't have any link with us, but may come. But what? we must provide, I think, um, is, is the opportunity for someone to 
build a healthy and a wonderful relationship with others. Um, of course, you know, we, among us um, here, especially like um, this live streaming, it is hard, I have to say, it is hard because, of course, we can chat, but since it is happening online, it is different from having the relationship with my people here in the church face to face. Well, fair enough. So we have to think about a different relationship, but whatever we do, the church should be the place where we share the opportunity for us, each and every one of us, to build the relationship between, among us, first of all, and also with God. Like this and like this. Horizontally, we should actually have the good relationship with each other. And also, vertically, we also must have the good relationship with, with God. So that, that word, relationship, um, has been in the back of my head for all day. And when I've been thinking about what would be the best thing that we can do. And then I realised that, well, what makes us different from any other groups out there um, is, is Jesus. We are the one who are called to follow Jesus. That is the, what makes us different. Right? So with that faith, with him, Jesus, as our leader, we begin to build our relationship, friendship, love, and then we move on so that we can look up and build a good relationship with God as well. I think that's what's, what's happening, what should actually happen um, in our church, St. George's Church, and not only St. George's Church, but you know, in all Christian churches around us. So I think that is a huge challenge, of course. You know, that's, that's a good challenge, that's a good challenge, but I, I am very positive. I believe that we are doing things quite well. Good examples, you know, the parish barbecue is wonderful, good support from the local community. And then that was a wonderful occasion. And also um, you saw the photographs of um, our wonderful, you know, the volunteers in the Garden of Remembrance. The garden looks wonderful. I think these are, these are the examples and evidence um, that we are doing things well. So tonight, Let's think about relationship, relationship that we have, that I have with you, between us. <laughs> and also, let us think about relationship that we have with God. And these two things, horizontal and then the vertical, two things, these are the things that we need to keep it in my, in our mind. So that, that's the message that I wanted to share with you. <laughs> oh, I feel better now. <laughs> okay, dear my friends, let's go back to our night prayers. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, and hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and the sleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Well, thank you, dear my friends. Um, thank you for joining me tonight um, for this night prayer. Now I feel better. Um, before I say goodbye, um, just one um, quick um, notice, well actually two things, um, it's a good reminder, this coming Saturday, this Saturday, um, we do have um, the school fate, um, school fate from um, 11 o'clock until, um, until 2.30 I think, <laughs> oh dear, from 11 until 2.30, I'm sure that's right, um, artificial fee is one pound and then um, there will be no service in the morning um, because we have to, I have to change you know something so there'll be no service on saturday but we do have um school fate in the morning 11 o'clock until 2 30. that's part one <laughs> part two and um, we do have um the evening bowling nights um social gathering um i'm sure that we will um, be able to put some more information on on there um and then hopefully um you know some photos um the following uh, later it's going to be um, quite busy um, the Saturday, so I hope um, everything goes well, smoothly, and then I think um, Keith Spong, um, Keith, he wants me to be there at, at the, um, um, the school fete, and then, do you know this sponge, that soaking, water soaking sponge, and then they throw it to someone, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if you want to, um, you know, um, release your anger towards your vicar, if you have anything, you know, personal, just come and then just give a donation and then throw some soaking wet, um, you know, um, you know, sponge at me. So, 
<laughs> I'm giving you an opportunity. Um, oh yeah, that that that's that's for Saturday, and then on Sunday, um, the Father's Day service as usual. Um, yeah, that would be um, the brilliant. So, um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the week. Let's fingers crossed for uh, you know the good weather, and then I hope all of you um, to have a wonderful evening. Sleep tight. Good night's sleep, and I hope you all have a brilliant um, you know, tomorrow. Okay, God bless you, and I'll see you possibly next time. And then I still remember what I said. I'm very sorry. Next Sunday, I will share with you something, a very interesting things. I'm going to just show you now. I'm not going to show you in great details. Wait for me Sunday. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>